Hello everyone, my name is Henry and welcome to another video. So today we're doing something a little bit different. We're taking a look at Stylet, or specifically the Stylet demo, which is the same demo that Adobe showed off at Adobe Max earlier this week. So for those who haven't seen or heard of this, which you probably haven't, this is a sort of proof of concept type demo that Adobe showed off at Max, and I thought I'd actually show it to you guys as well. So if you head to stylet.org, you will be presented with this lovely page where it instructs you to download, print, and paint. Now, uh, I'm going to be walking you guys through this and sort of showing you this. Now, I normally use a Mac, so why am I suddenly on Windows again? Well, this currently only runs on Windows because it requires an NVIDIA GPU with CUDA cores, and as we all know, NVIDIA and CUDA works the best on Windows uh, and not on Mac. So currently only for Windows as seen by the download icon. Uh, I tried for those curious about running this in emulation on Parallels, I tried, but again, it needs the CUDA course, so no, not gonna work. Um, now, basically, actually, you know what, it's easier to just show you guys this, uh, but I think uh, it's basically an algorithm called Stylet, and they turned it into a program for a demo on Adobe Max, and they allowed people to download it, and you still can. So, uh, let's just go and download it, it's a really quick download, so I'm just gonna press save, and there we go, it's already done. Now, I have got DroidCamp, because you will need a, um, you will need a, um, webcam for this, or you can use Photoshop. Now, for some reason, it has disconnected my phone. Great, either my phone is dead, or something went horribly, horribly wrong. Ah, there we go. Okay. Sorry about that. Did not intend for that to happen. Apparently my phone decided to disconnect. So so I don't actually have any good webcams that I can use for this. So what I'm doing is I'm just using my phone as a makeshift webcam. Now you can also actually use, it also has a screen capture mode. So you can, and there's like a Photoshop template. So you could in theory draw this digitally and then run it. Um, however, it, it's, it's cooler to do this by hand. So I'm going to be using what's called Droid Cam to uh, to do this, but you can use whatever you want to use. I just noticed that it's got the wrong reach over this, whatever. Um, so first of all, we're going to go and open this. I'm going to be using PSIP. You can use whatever you want to use. I'm going to extract that. There we go. Close that. And now we've got the stencil.psd and a print me stencil. So this contains a couple of pre-made ones, which I'm going to run you guys through in a second. And it also contains a PSD file, which you can which you can paint on, and then you can load that into Stylet. So let's go and open up Stylet.exe. As you can see, it's like no markers detected, blah, blah, blah. So you'll notice you can see part of my monitor, and you can also now see my hands. Awesome. Now, because this... Um, I'm actually going to go and turn on my blitz, or my... My... Um, my light because it's terrible lighting in here. Now, I have got a whole set of these right here, uh, which I'm going to go ahead and lay down on the desk here. Hopefully, it will be able to recognize them. Unfortunately, not completely. I may have to move my keyboard even more backwards. You know, I know it's recognized it, but just want to make sure. There we go, now I can see all the dots. And as you can see, it takes the different textures, so it takes one from the actual orb right there. You notice my hand gets into this now. Uh, there is a mode to enable hand detection, but it makes the program a little bit more laggy, so I traditionally stay without. As you can just see, it kind of just failed. Um, there we go, turn it on now, you'll notice. So we've got this orb, which controls the color of the actual character. And then, you can actually see my hand here, which is pretty cool. Uh, and then this upper part is the background. Now, there is a line separating about here, which separates the ground from the air. Now, how you decide to do this is kind of up to you. So let's go ahead and turn off hand detection again, and then let's move on to the next one, which is this one. So, so these are the ones that Adobe already gives you in that PDF, so you can download these and toy with them yourself, uh, which is pretty cool. I like how they give you stuff to experiment with. Also, I got this one, which I, I think some of the, most of these are really, like, cool. Like, this one, I'm not even going to go into details on what this makes it look like. Um, 
Also got this one, which makes it like hand run. Why did my camera turn off? Well, not my camera, but yes, my entire thing turned off. Why? Phone, why do you do this? Oh, of course. I'm, I'm wasting my battery on this. So my phone thought it was relevant to go into battery saving. Which also meant disabling droid cam. I might kill my phone doing this stuff, but uh, whatever. Oh, God damn it. I need to be actually logged in here. There we go. Now I can close the phone. This is starting to get on my nerves, Jesus. Okay. Press that down, like that. I can hear clicking from the phone, that's not good. Okay, sorry, this is getting a bloody haphazard video right here. Okay, there we go. Can't really recognize it all, so I'm gonna have to move this a little bit further in. Ugh, like that. Now I can recognize them all. Almost, I guess. Like that. So that is sort of like a hand-drawn, like, sort of shadowy thing and then there is this one which is sort of uh i don't even know what you'd call this one and then just to sort of god damn it why do i always do this to myself and then we've also got this one which i drew myself which uh, I, i'm pretty happy with this i kind of like how this turned out um uh I ended up, I don't really have that much drawing tools because I'm more of a digital sort of person. So you can notice that the sky is really not featured. I did end up making this pretty featured, but you know. Now, now that we're first here, we can go and also see here, you have several models to choose between. So we can choose the hand. We get this cool looking hand. We can choose this, I don't even know what this is, Stegosaurus. Uh, we can choose like this Viking helmet that isn't really a Viking helmet. Uh, we could choose a teapot. Uh, we could choose this, a Taurus. Tauruses are always cool. Uh, we can choose this. Um, I'm not. Even, I'm gonna not ruin myself by saying the wrong thing. I believe this is a bear. We can choose a bird, and we can choose a shark. Now, as you can see here, you can actually choose the resolution. I believe it's set to this one at first, and then you can take it all the way up to this. The problem with taking it that high is this uses your actual graphics card, so that will definitely speak up your GPU and. Just as a matter of fact, I'm using OBS as well, which also uses GPU and CPU. So this will become hot for the PC really quickly, so I'm not going to do that. Um, but the, depending on the quality you set here, the bigger high resolution image you're going to get when you press the save result as. You can also save this style, which allows you to save sort of what's in here as a separate thing you can load up later on. Now, what I thought we could do here, which would be a little bit interesting, is I thought it would be cool if we did a bit of a time lapse. So what I've gone ahead and done is I've printed out an empty template. Now, unfortunately, because my printer decided to be an ass, it ran out of ink, specifically black ink. Now, uh, it is still recognizing these pattern things, so that's awesome. Let me go ahead. Uh, okay, it's only somewhat recognizing them. Great. So what happens when you have to deal with this sort of stuff? Okay. Whatever, it should still work. So, so what we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to go ahead and just do some basic drawing on this. So because I, I do have the pencils I used earlier, um, but I'm going to go ahead and just sort of add like a sort of foundation with this. Um, this is actually a whiteboard marker, so this is not recommended in the slightest to do, but... So I'm going to go ahead and time-lapse this, so feel free to enjoy.
All right, so that's about it. My phone is about to die, so um, this is kind of the end of it, and I think it just died. Um, yep, my phone just died, so that's great. That's goodbye to that webcam. Uh, but essentially, that is it. That is stylism in uh, in a nutshell, I guess you could say. Um, I wanted to showcase this more, but I was kind of limited on time, and I just kind of wanted to get this video out because I have a lot more videos planned for this week. Uh, but this was just too exciting to pass up. Um, but in essence, if you are an artist and you're better at drawing and painting than I am, then I would definitely recommend you guys to check this out. Uh, it's a really cool program. It's 100% free as long as you're running Windows and you have a good enough graphics card. Either it's with a, uh, I believe it's a 670 or a 680, so it's a pretty old NVIDIA graphics card, but good enough to have CUDA course, I guess. Um, and you know, you can just, you, as I said, you can use Photoshop. If you just go up here to video input, you can choose screen capture. You can capture your Photoshop window or really any application. You could use GIMP as well if you don't have Photoshop. So that's kind of cool about this. Um, so you do that, you just draw it. And then of course you can, again, you can change the models. Um, so you can, and then you could save the style. Uh, so I'm going to save this as a teapot on my desktop. And I'm going to save the result as another teapot. Uh, no, let's call it teapot ET, so teapot it. If you now then head to the desktop, after closing all these things, we've got the style I opened, so, so, so you know, it, it's pretty cool. So here's the style essentially, that's like actually how the image is, so this is what you can screen capture later on. Then we've got the actual teapot, which is the image itself that we recorded with that we took from Style It. Now, I'm definitely going to be experimenting a little bit more with this. I'm probably going to manage to either dig up some old web camera that I probably have laying somewhere and use that instead. Or I'm going to pick one up, because I definitely want to use this a little bit more, but without using my phone. Because my phone, which is trying to boot up again, so I guess it didn't die, it just crashed. Uh, which would make sense, because it lagged really hard, so... <laughs> Don't, don't do it like me and don't use your phone for this. My phone was burning hot when I did this. Um, but that's basically it for Stylet. So if this interested you, feel, just go ahead and check it out. This could be a link in the description. Um, and for those wondering about normal content, sure that's returning. There'll be, you know, another Adobe add-on showcase coming up this week. There's nothing changing. I just thought there was a little bit of a cool uh, demo to check out. And for those curious, I will be doing all sorts of other coverage on upcoming betas from Adobe, like they have announced that Project Felix will have a beta. Once that comes out, I will give it like a quick rundown, show it off to you guys, because I think it's pretty cool. Same with Project Nimbus once that comes around, and of course also Project Roco. If you haven't heard of these, Google it, I guess. Um, but this was already available and it was a little bit less mentioned and got a little bit less attention, so I thought, hey, why not make a video on it? Pretty creative. Uh, if you like drawing, definitely download it and give it a shot, especially if you're running Windows. For me, it was a little bit complicated. I had to turn on my Windows computer, which is just collecting dust and complicated. Um, but yeah, thank you guys for watching this video. Hope you enjoyed it. And uh, if you did, please subscribe.